State offices and universities across Alabama are now reevaluating ahead of a new law prohibiting diversity, equity and inclusion programs going into effect. As they figure out where to go from here, we got some legal insight on the topic. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee joins me now in studio. Daquan, Senate Bill 129 doesn't go into effect until October, but many organizations seem to be in a holding pattern to assess the impact. They are, Margo, and that may be the right move, depending on how that particular organization is set up. I spoke with a legal expert who believes the new law could soon be challenged in courts and may even be heading to the U.S. Supreme Courts. As state offices and universities may be thrown right into a legal battle over a new state law prohibiting diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, attorney Mark McDaniel believes a legal challenge is all but certain. It will be argued that it is a violation, a clear violation of the First Amendment. It will be argued it's a violation of the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution with regard to due process and equal protection of the laws. Uh, so that, that uh, th th it will certainly be, certainly be tested. He doesn't believe the new law is discriminatory and shouldn't have an effect on the state's desegregation order. But he believes lawyers will argue that the law is too broad and ambiguous. The first part of the law says, OK, this is what you, you, you cannot do. The second part of the law says, well, it don't affect First Amendment privileges. It don't affect academic freedom and the like. Well, does it or does it not? He believes that'll be up for a federal court to decide. McDaniel also likened this bill to Florida's Stop Woke Act in that it limits professors from having the academic freedom to teach students topics that they may not have been previously exposed to, something he believes is a vital part of education. This world is a big place, and there, there's a lot of different beliefs, and there's a lot of different cultures. and. And the best thing you can do for a student is to, is to educate that student and bring that student uh, into the world. The purpose of education is to bring the world to the student, not limit the student's mind, okay? Does this law do that? I ask the people to listen to, 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 to this newscast. Now, throughout the week, we've shown you responses to the enactment of this law, but only time will tell if there will be legal challenges down the line.